How do you celebrate Indigenous People's Day? Can I celebrate Indigenous People's Day if I'm non-Indigenous? If you want to know how you can celebrate Indigenous People's Day and how you personally can participate even online and in virtual settings, then keep on watching. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about what Indigenous People's Day is and how you can be a part of it. There are even ways you can participate from home, so being part of this day has never been easier. My hope is you'll feel even more inspired than ever before to join in the celebration of Indigenous culture. Hi there, I'm Mallory. Welcome back to the Tribal Trade channel where we share new videos every single week about smudging, Indigenous culture, and Native teachings. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss a video. So you want to celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day with us, right? After watching this video, you'll have five ways that you can celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day from home, wherever you are. You'll then be able to honor Indigenous culture and show your respect and recognition for Indigenous people of Canada. At Tribal Trade Co., Indigenous cultural teachings is what we do. Also, bringing the Indigenous culture online and creating community and online connections is what we do as well. We're so excited to share these ways that you can celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day no matter who you are or where you come from. Before we get into the five ways how you can celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day, whether in person, online, or from home, let's get clear on what Indigenous Peoples Day is. Now, what is Indigenous Peoples Day? Indigenous Peoples Day falls on June 21st every year and was established by the Canadian government in 1996. However, we as Indigenous people and in our Native communities have already been celebrating our culture and heritage on and around this day for many generations. This time of year is a time to celebrate due to the significance of the summer solstice, which is the longest day of the year. National Indigenous Peoples Day is a day for all Canadians to recognize and celebrate the unique heritage, diverse cultures, and outstanding contributions of First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people. Although Indigenous groups share many similarities, they each have their own unique, distinct heritage, language, cultural practices, and spiritual beliefs. This day allows the nation to recognize the importance of all Indigenous communities and celebrate Indigenous people as a whole. If you'd like to take the opportunity to participate in National Indigenous Peoples Day this year, then keep watching for a few simple ways you can show your support, engage with other Indigenous people, or connect more deeply to your own Indigenous roots. Typically, Indigenous Peoples Day and Summer Solstice in general would be a time for getting together, celebrating, and truly connecting with one another. Depending on where you live, that might look a little different this year, but there are still some amazing ways that you can celebrate while staying safe and healthy. All of these activities can be enjoyed alone or with others, so there's no right or wrong way to celebrate. The goal is simply to celebrate in a way that feels right to you and that offers gratitude, respect, and appreciation for all Indigenous communities. So here we go. Here are the five ways that you can get started celebrating Indigenous Peoples Day. The first way you can celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day is to participate in a festival or powwow. Summer solstice is the time when Indigenous communities are joyfully celebrating with powwows and festivals in order to usher in warm weather and say goodbye to winter. <laughs> This year, you can participate from wherever you are. Just as it did last year, the Summer Solstice Indigenous Festival is hosting workshops, classes, live music, and other festivities all streamed online for you to watch from home. These activities are available nearly all month long. Additionally, some Indigenous communities offer virtual powwows for people to experience from home, so you might try searching your local community for what options are available. This can be a great way to really feel like you're part of the festivities and get an up-close experience with Indigenous celebrations. The second way that you can celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day is to listen to an Indigenous podcast. Podcasts can be informational, entertaining, or both. And since they're audio only, you can listen to them anywhere, at work, during your commute, or even as you go about your business at home throughout the day. When choosing a podcast this June, you might try seeking out a podcast that either specifically highlights Indigenous teachings, culture, 
and philosophies. Or you might listen to a podcast about any topic that is created by an Indigenous person. Either way, you will be supporting Indigenous creators and small businesses. And you might learn more about the Indigenous culture along the way. Try to use this day as a way to seek out new Indigenous driven or created content that you might not otherwise engage with normally. You might find your new favorite podcast. The third way that you can celebrate Indigenous People's Day is engaging with Indigenous creative content, such as music, films, or comedy. Just like you might try to seek out an Indigenous-led podcast this upcoming Indigenous People's Day, try also seeking out some Indigenous artists. You can find catalogs of Indigenous musicians online, watch a documentary about Indigenous history, or even watch a comedy special by an Indigenous comedian. If you're able to see a movie or a concert in person, that's a great way to engage. But all of this can also be done right from your home as well. Whatever you decide, this can be a great way to show your appreciation for Indigenous culture and the lasting impression that Indigenous people have made on popular culture. Have you celebrated Indigenous People's Day before? If so, what did you do? Please let us know in the comments below. We've covered a lot already, but let's talk about a few more ways that you can celebrate Indigenous People's Day this year, just in case you need more ideas. The fourth way that you can celebrate Indigenous People's Day is visiting a museum or a collection. If museums are open near you, you might try visiting a museum or exhibit displaying Indigenous artifacts, art, or history. This can be done alone, with friends, or with your family. Also, many museums are now offering virtual tours or videos of their collections online so you can experience the exhibit at home. This is a great way to learn and support Indigenous artists while also doing a fun activity. And lastly, the fifth way that you can celebrate Indigenous People's Day is taking a course or Indigenous training. The most important thing you can do to celebrate Indigenous People's Day is to educate yourself. Understand the history of Indigenous people, their culture, our land, our teachings, and our wonderful contributions over the generations this is truly the most powerful thing that you can do, especially as an Indigenous ally, to demonstrate your appreciation and respect for Indigenous people on this important day. If you're not sure exactly how to learn more or generate more awareness for yourself, you might try taking a course or enrolling in a workshop. You can even do that with us at Tribal Trade. We offer some amazing workshops centered around Indigenous teachings and incorporating them more fully into your everyday life. If you're Indigenous, this can help you feel more connected to the culture. And if you're not Indigenous, these kinds of workshops can help you learn about and appreciate Indigenous culture and teachings. Check out the links to our workshops in the comments below. Now, these are just a few of the ways that you can participate and celebrate Indigenous People's Day. There are tons of other ways to celebrate, so just do a little research and find what feels right to you. Are you curious about those workshops I mentioned? We're actually hosting a free live workshop for a limited time, guys. It's called How to Apply Indigenous Teachings to Your Everyday Life. You can save your seat for this free workshop where you will learn how to experience resiliency, avoid any confusion, and start to feel more connected with yourself through Indigenous cultural teachings. By acknowledging and respecting this Indigenous People's Day, you've taken a first step toward greater awareness and appreciation for Indigenous people and our culture. Now take the next step by fully participating in or engaging with Indigenous activities, teachings, entertainment, and more. There's no wrong way to celebrate, so just get started. If you want more tips for engaging with Indigenous culture, or want to be part of an inclusive community, come celebrate with us by joining our free community on Facebook. What are some ways that you plan to celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day this year? Please let us know in the comments below. Chimigwech, thank you so much for watching today and have a happy Indigenous Peoples Day.